Beauty secrets every Armenian woman knows. Hey everyone, I'm Tenny, and today I'm gonna dive into some beauty secrets that I know as an Armenian woman. But if you're Middle Eastern, North African, or just have my coloring in general, this will probably work for you. Dry oil is a must. Now I have super dry hair just by nature. My hair is already pretty dry. And then you've got the color treating and heat styling. It gets super dry. Dry oil is something that I use before I dry my hair and after I style. Now the general rule with hair oils is don't apply it to your roots. Start at about the halfway point of your hair and then work it down to the ends. Now a hair oil isn't just nourishing for your hair. It's also good for styling. What I like to do is take a spray oil and spray it into my hair and then start piecing the hair apart just so it gives it a nice textured look. Cover gray hairs fast. Now if you get gray hairs and you have dark hair, you know how painfully annoying this is. And especially if you have Middle Eastern origins, a lot of times it's genetic for us, so you can't really help it. But not to worry, I've got a quick tip for you for how to cover your grays in between coloring sessions. Now I know this may sound a little bit crazy, but it definitely works. Take a black Sharpie and find those pesky gray hairs and just color right over it. It's gone in two seconds. Don't go crazy with wax. Armenians are known for thick, full brows. It's just something we're born with. But the challenge is shaping those brows so they look natural and still full. Now I personally wax and tweeze my brows, but the key is keeping that natural shape and just cleaning it up. One thing you can do regularly is take a spoolie and just brush up your brows and take a pair of small scissors and trim the hair so they look nice and groomed. If you've got sparse areas in your brows or just wanna make them appear a little bit fuller, I've got a tip for you. For dark hair, you always wanna use a brow product that's about two shades lighter than your hair color. If you use a brow product that's the same color as your hair, it's gonna look a little bit intense and not very natural. Play up your natural contour. Armenian women tend to have pronounced cheekbones and pretty angular features. So a soft contour can enhance and slightly define your face without going overboard. So in this case, what I like to do is take a stick contour product about three to four shades darker than my complexion and draw a line about an inch long at the hollows of my cheekbones. I also like to dot the product just along my temples and into my forehead and a little bit at my jawline. Then I'm just gonna take a sponge and blend it out for a nice soft contour. Be a smart foundation shopper. Now women from my part of the globe tend to have olive skin. I am practically green, like I'm literally green. And if you have an olive complexion, you know how difficult it is to find a foundation that matches. It's happened to all of us. We're in the store and we try a foundation, the color looks perfect, and then we take it home and it's all wrong. So here's a tip. When you're in the store trying on your foundation, ask for a mirror so you can step outside for a minute and take a look at the color under natural light. That's gonna be your best indicator of whether the color matches or not. Foundation comes in pink undertones, yellow undertones, and neutrals. So if you have an olive complexion, you wanna stay away from the pink undertones and gravitate to the neutrals and the yellows. Give blue blush a chance. Now I know that sounds funny, but what I mean is try a blue-based blush. Blue-based means something more like a bubblegum pink as opposed to a coral pink. So we're talking about cool versus warm. A blue-based blush just brings such a nice life and youthfulness to olive skin. Peach to the rescue. I know a lot of us deal with dark circles under our eyes, so here's a tip for how to cover them the right way. When you're searching for a concealer, look for something that has a peachy apricot undertone. Anything with that orangey undertone is the key to covering up darkness under your eyes. And remember, lighter doesn't always mean better. So that's it for my beauty tips. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if I missed any tips, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. And if you wanna see more of me, you can find me pretty much everywhere at, at Tenny Panosian.